www.nancyoradioshow.com. You're tuned in to nancyoradioshow.com, and it is now time for our first feature interview for the evening. Say hi to Prince. How you doing tonight? I'm great, baby. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. It's good to hear your voice. I hear you've had a very busy day. So I wanted to ask you, Say hi to Prince. I know you've had an extremely busy year, but can you remember what was going on in your life about a year ago before you got signed to Good Music? Yes, I can. At this time, I had a deal, but I was, you know, I was on my last. So I was probably hustling and doing everything else I was supposed to do. I got evicted around this time. My lights got cut off. Car got repo. So I was like, now I'm back on my feet, folks. So I, I'm really thankful for this year. Oh, wow. And so... That's a story, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is a story. I never knew that. Okay. Yeah, you know, I ain't flexing out here in these streets, you know what I mean? I, you know, I don't just rap about, you know, Friday and Saturday. I rap about Sunday through Thursday, the things when things go wrong. Do you remember the very first time that you met Kanye? What happened? Well, I got off the plane. I had a driver that drove me to the, um, to the hotel, to the Kahala. And then I put my bags up, and then I drove to the studio. And then when I first walked in, he was like, Sa-ha! <laughs> I was like, hey! <laughs> and that was like the start of a relationship. So it was just like a, it was like, you know, he was a, he was a fan of my work before I got there. I didn't know that. Like, I knew he listened to my rap, but I heard he was, he went through the whole CD. Like, yo, listen to the dude I'm proud. Listen to the dude I'm proud. So that's crazy. So that was, that was an um, exciting moment for me. Wow. Okay. And so you have a new track out called Honor. I noticed one of the lines you said, fans or why you do it. So, what were you doing for your fans to get your buzz up to the level that it is now? You know what? Not so arrogant. I was dope, but nobody, like, like coming from the city that I came from, I might have been too dope. Now, I'm not saying anything wrong with that, but I had to, like, take the, the ultimate route, you know? And thank God we had a hip-hop circuit in Atlanta. You know what I mean? I come from underground hip-hop shows, so... So we was, I was just touring that circuit, getting my, you know, getting my fans up, we're touring with like artists like Yellow Wolf and Big Crit and artists like that. So once Kanye found me, it just, it was perfect for my fan base. You know what I mean? I had other deals from other artists that was on the table or joint ventures, to my ass, because I was already signed to Akon. But we didn't mind bringing in the hip hop artists because Kanye was more international. You know what I mean? So that being said, I just um, really just tapped into it and got on Twitter. You know, I didn't really like Twitter at first. But then I got on it. I see how many people like me. So I was like, yo, I could kind of enjoy Twitter, dude. <laughs> when I got with Kanye, it was over with. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so I wanted to ask you about some business gems. I mean, you talked about it a little, touching a little bit um, about your fans um, and also um, when you were on the underground circuit in Atlanta. And there are a lot of underground artists that listen to the station. So can you share some business gems about moving from being an independent artist to moving on to being signed to a major label? The most important thing, if people don't understand, is you have to be more focused before you sign than when you're signed. The hardest thing is getting signed. You know what I mean? That's the hardest part. And if you get signed, they sign you for a reason. So that's when you have to, that's when you have to like, you know, display your talents the best. But most importantly, you have to stay focused, have to stay, you know, self-driven and keep doing your art. Keep crafting your art like you never can be too good. You have to be somewhat shut off from the world. That's just in my opinion, like in my route. I went the rapper's route, the lyricist route. And for a minute, I was shut off to the world. Like, I didn't want to go to the club. I didn't want to see a girl. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do nothing but run through these notebooks full of raps. So when my time comes, I know I'm prepared. You know what I mean? And that's the way I did it. So preparation prevents poor performances. <laughs> so I just locked in. You have to lock in and just go. Okay. Well, Sai Hi to Prince, I noticed as I was getting ready for this interview that it doesn't look like you have an official website or a blog, yet you're very connected with your fans on Twitter. And I was wondering, do you have any plans to do an official website or even start a blog like some of your other counterparts have? I will, but my thing is like, See, I'm so in love with the music. Like, I tell people all the time, like, you know, people ask me, you know, are you going to get your own label? I tell them no. I don't want my own label. They look at me like I'm crazy. But I just, I've been through so much with my career and my career and other people's hands. 
the so I would never want to put nobody's career in my hand. You know what I mean? Like, like I look at a CEO as a CEO. Like, a lot of dudes got labels that I don't really feel like they CEOs. They just got a label because they can rap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, that's how I look at it. So I've never did it that way. But at the same time, with the blogging, you know, I like blogging. And blogging is cool because you can co-sign different things and jumpstart somebody's career without really having to, you know what I mean, actually sign them. And the website, I'm working on the website as we speak. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's getting done. So, you know, as soon as it's up, I definitely, you know, I would definitely let you know. Very good. First of all, you will be coming to Greensboro this Sunday, January 30th with Big Crit. <laughs> so, can you talk about why um, everyone here in Chapel Hill and beyond, like, what can they expect from your upcoming show this Sunday? Oh, man. Y'all don't see the show for me. That's all I gotta say. Like, people don't ever, ever, like, that's like my specialty move. You know, people, you know, people hear my music think I'm the dopest rapper. I got good hooks or I got great interviews or I be fresh. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's not even the biggest, the most, I think the, the focal point of my career is my performances. And I'm talking about seriously, like, you might not even be able to say nothing to me. He was like, uh, I'm about to wait and take it off stage for about 20 minutes and come down from where he was at before I could talk to him. Because my show is like, I take pride in my show. That is like the most important part of my career. That, that's more important than the music to me. You know what I mean? Because when you can make somebody see that they feel you, you know what I mean? When they feel you, it's a difference of when they, you know. It's different when you touch somebody's mind in their heart. Like for a live performance, you feel like it's easier for you to connect to your fans because they can actually see you? Exactly. They can, they can feel my passion. Like, you're going to feel my energy off the stage. Like, it's going to be like I shook your hand, and I ain't even shake your hand. Like, I was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to be like I gave her a hug and didn't even give her a hug, and she all the way on the show went in the third row. You know what I mean? <laughs> but she's going to feel me because how my performance is. So I feel the performance is a big part. So we, y'all got to come out and see this event. Do my partner Big Creek with me? Like, we, you know, we, we all do this together. Like, we're great. So the last question is, um, you have the Royal Flush mixtape that's out very dope. So I was wondering, um, when can we expect a full-length album? Do you have another EP coming? So when can we expect your next project? Um, I have the Allies coming. That's a, that's a new um, project I'm working on. I'm trying to put out in March. I'm going to put out the beginning of March. It's me, Yellow World, Big Creek, D.O.B. It's just, you know, the whole hip-hop movement. You know what I mean? And, um... I'm putting that out this year, and you know, look forward to an album coming this year as well. So. Okay. And so, for anybody in Chapel Hill, which I highly doubt that are not on Twitter, can you drop your Twitter where they can follow you? Yes, I have a print C Y H I D A P R Y N C E. That's I have a print. Look at me on Twitter, everything, Facebook too. I do Facebook too. You know, I'm just you know, I'm new to the you know the technology and stuff. At the end of the day, you know. Prince, I want to definitely thank you for your time, and I'm definitely looking forward to the show on Sunday. All right, thank you.